Good morning. Please kneel for the prayer to Jesus, the Divine Word. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Jesus, Divine Word made flesh, from the beginning you already were. Before even time began, you are Son, and with the Father and the Holy Spirit, three persons, one God. But in the fullness of time, you who created man became man yourself. Through God, the Holy Spirit, and Mary, you became Jesus, divine word made flesh. You came to our world to save us and to show us how to live and love here, so we may live and love hereafter. Dear Jesus, divine word incarnate, please teach us to follow you. May our love for you always be made flesh, not ever lost in word or song alone. In prayer, we come face to face with you, like you with the Father and the Holy Spirit. In love and service, may we likewise come face to face with our sisters and brothers, the least of them most of all. For as we treat each other, so do we treat you. In your name we pray now, always, and in all ways. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A blessed day to all of you, brothers and sisters, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. Today is Saturday of the 11th week in Ordinary Time. Our Mass Presider today is Reverend Father Benigno Beltran, SVD. Associate Priest of the Shrine. Our Eucharistic celebration will now begin. Please rise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us offer this Eucharist to God Almighty, and also as a memorial to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Before we continue our celebration, let us acknowledge our sins to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, your almighty God, and Prince of Peace, Lord of mercy. Have mercy. Christ Jesus, your Son of God, Son of Mary, Christ of mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the divine word who became a human being, splendor of the Father, Lord of mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who chose the Blessed Virgin Mary foremost 
among the poor and humble to be the mother of the Savior. Grant, we pray, that following her example, we may offer you the homage of sincere faith and place in you all our hope of salvation. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second book of Chronicles. After the death of Zehoiada, the princes of Judah came and paid homage to King Joash. And the king then listened to them. They forsook the temple of the Lord, the God of their fathers, and began to serve the sacred bulls and the idols. And because of this crime of theirs, wrath came upon Judah and Jerusalem. Although the prophets were sent to them to convert them to the Lord, the people would not listen to their warnings. Then the Spirit of God possesses Zechariah, sons of Jehoiada the priest. He took his stand above the people and said to them, God says, why are you transgressing the Lord's commands so that you cannot prosper? Because you have abandoned the Lord, he has abandoned you. But they conspired against him, and at the king's order they stoned him to death in the court of the Lord's temple. Thus King Joash was unmindful of devotion shown him by Jehoiada, Zechariah's father, and slew him, his son. And as Zechariah was dying, he said, May the Lord see and avenge. At the return of the year, a force of Arameans came, again up, came up against Joash. They invaded Judah and Jerusalem, did away with all the princes of the people, and sent all their spoils to the king of Damascus. Though the Aramean force came with few men, the Lord surrendered a very large force into their power. Because Judah had abandoned the Lord, the God of their fathers, so punishment was meted out to Joash. After the Arameans had departed from him, leaving him in grievous suffering, his servants conspired against him because of the murder of the sons of Jehoiada the priest. He was buried in the city of David, but not in the tombs of the kings. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Forever I will remain my love for my servant. Forever I will remain, maintain my love. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David my servant. Forever I will confirm your prosperity and establish your throne for all generations. Forever I will maintain my love for my servant. Forever I will maintain my kindness toward him and my covenant with him stands firm. I will make his prosperity and due forever, and his throne as the days of heaven. Forever I will maintain my love for my servant. If his sons forsake my law and work not according to my ordinances, if they violate my statutes and keep not my, co my commands, Forever I will maintain my love for my servant. I will punish their crime with a rod and their guilt with stripes. Yet my mercy will not take from him, nor will I belive my faithfulness. Forever I will maintain my love for my servant. Please arise, Holy Gospel. Mm -hmm.
Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, No one can serve two masters. He will either hate one and love the other, or be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds in the sky. They do not sow or reap. They gather nothing into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not more than they? Can any of you by worrying add the single moment to your lifespan? Why are you anxious about clothes? Learn from the way the wild flowers grow. They do not work or spin. But I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendor was clothed like one of them. If God so clothes the grass of the field which grows today and is thrown into the oven tomorrow, will he not much more provide for you, O you of little faith? So do not worry and say, What are we to eat? Or what are we to drink? Or what are we to wear? All these things the pagans see. Your heavenly Father knows that you need him all. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be given you besides. Do not worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will take care of itself. Sufficient for a day is its, its own evil. This is the gospel of the Lord. No one can serve two masters. That's the message of the gospel. And the Lord said, you cannot serve God and mammon. Mammon is wealth. Riches. So, the Lord also said, do not be anxious about tomorrow, about your food, about your clothing. But we could not do that today because the world is serving mama. Riches. Look at our country. 13 million and a half say they experienced hunger once or twice in the last month, according to the survey. But we also have tycoons, very rich people, billionaires, included in the top 100 rich people in the world. And there are, there are only 400 families controlling 70% of the wealth of this country. So we have to worry. You have pipila ka sa MRT, dalawang kilometro minsan yan, nahihirapan ka sa trabaho, kasi hindi ka naman makakain. We have served mammon. We have created an economic system that serves mammon, profit, profit above all. We have an advertising <coughs> system that tells us to buy things that we become better human beings if our cars and our condominiums are more expensive. Nadadala tayo doon. Even priests. Longing for expensive cars. Saving money so that they could have a vacation house somewhere. Sabi ni Cardinal Rosales, ganyan ang nangyayari. Sumasakay tayo doon sa mamon. Sumasakay tayo doon sa economic system where very few people get filthy rich. And almost half of the country are poor. Wala abang pakialam ang pananampalataya natin yan. 
Do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Hindi natin magagawa yan, even if we would like to. Because we are in a system where mammon is the God. And if you remind them, they will kill you. Just like in the first reading. Sikariah, son of Jehoiada, the priest, sinabihan niyong king, God says, Why are you transgressing the Lord's commands so that you cannot prosper? Because you have abandoned the Lord, He has abandoned you. Cardinal from Brazil, he said, when I was feeding the children, they called me a saint. But when I was asking, why are the children hungry? They called me a communist. So in the first reading, because Zechariah stood up and reminded that we should not serve Mammon, but God, they stoned him to death. And so, Israel was punished. The Arameans came and killed Jehoiada, the priest. We are also in for the abandonment by God. Kung ganito na lang tayo, Mammon ng ating si Silvi, marami namang nagsisimba na pag so, linggo, simba sila. Pag lunis hanggang sabado, mamon ang kanilang sinasamba. So, we could not help but worry about our tomorrow. Because the world serves mama. Profit above all. <clears throat> Wala silang pakialam. Kung masira ang kalikasan, puputuli na lalahati yung logs kakalbuhin nila yung bundok. At pag may pare, kagaya ni Father Nerlito sa tour, kasama ni Cardinal Rosales, sa bukid noon noon, binaril nila. Ayaw nilang sabihan sila eh, na why, why are you transgressing the Lord's commands so that you cannot prosper? Because you have abandoned the Lord, He has abandoned you. Napakasakit pakinggan, but it's, it's the word of God. I have to see it. And then I will say it to you. And that's why we pray today. That we will go back to God. Not only go back to Him, but serve Him. And create a world that is just and peaceful. That is His will. We are not doing it. Many of us privatize devotions between God and me. That's my spirituality. But the Word of God is like burning fire constantly reminding us. Hindi tayo mabubuhay sa ganitong sistema. Uubusin natin yung mga puno. Bubungkali natin lahat yung wala na para sa mga darating pang saling lahi. We have to take care of this earth. It is only loaned to us by God so that we could hand it over to the next, the next generation, to people, to babies that yet born. That is the command of God. That's what we should pray for today. To build the world, in the image of the kingdom. Sabi rin ng Panginoon, Seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness. And all these things will be given you besides. All of us have to be righteous. All of us have to be just. And then we can feed everyone. Caritas Manila is spending billions to feed the children. Walang nakakaalam niya. In this rain alone, Two, three times, we feed 100, 200 children. It's not the duty of this rhyme. They have parents. But the parents, 
they are oppressed because it would be system that funnels in imbudo yung yaman sa ilang mga tao na hindi tumitigil hanggang ngayon they are already filthy rich they continue to earn money not giving the right wages to their employees and sometimes conspiring not to pay hundreds of millions of pesos in taxes. You cannot serve God and mama. You cannot feed all the children as parents if the whole economic system, if the whole entire world serves mama. And that is why in the Eucharist today, let us pray that we will become righteous and seek first the kingdom of God so that we do not have to worry about what we will eat or drink or about our bodies or what we will wear. Do not worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will take care of itself if we let God be God. prayers of the faithful. My sisters and brothers, the gospel today calls us to be single-minded in our service to God, not bamon, not wealth, not riches. May our prayers to the Father express that quality of trust and devotion. Let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer that the church leaders may devote themselves tirelessly to the furthering of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. That we may realize the need to show care and concern for the poor and the needy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may live in complete submission to the will of God and never become answers concerning matters that are not worth worrying about. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may experience the love of God through the compassion of those who care for life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may share in Christ's victory over death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we trust in you. May we never set our hearts on riches and wealth and material things, but on your loving providence. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. soul.
Pray, my sisters and brothers, my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Thanks for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of our devotion, and grant that we who celebrate your Son's work of boundless love may, through the example of the Blessed Virgin Mary, be confirmed in our love of you and of our neighbor, to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Thus give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of prayer. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation. Your Son, Jesus Christ, the Divine Word, became a human being. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with the air in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. gives we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from me, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for men, so that sin may be forgiven do this in memory of me
Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of eternal salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking with the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis of Pope, Onesto of Bishop, and all the members of your one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Health of the sick, with blessed Joseph as spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to our Father in heaven to give us our daily bread, free us from all anxieties. In the prayer, Jesus, the divine word himself, taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, by the help of your mercy. We may be always free from sin, safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer his other design of Christ. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, the divine word who became a human being to save us from our sins. Happy are those who accept this invitation to eat at his table. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life.
fruit of the spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant to your church, O Lord, that strengthened by the power of the sacrament, she may eagerly walk in the pathways of the gospel until she reaches the blessed vision of peace which the Virgin Mary, your lowly handmaid, already enjoys eternally in glory to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve Jesus, the Divine Word. Thanks be to God.
Blessed. 